today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Replay Mod. Once you learn it, it's pretty simple to use. However, it does take some practice to get good with. Also, at any point, feel free to pause the video or slow it down if you need to see what I just did again. Enjoy using this in your videos, montages, or just for fun. Also, before this video begins, I just want to ask you guys if you can subscribe to support the channel. I'm not a very big YouTuber, but it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed since I work hard on these videos. Plus, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Currently, only a very small percentage of you guys are subscribed. Let's see how much we can boost that number by next video. Make sure to leave questions in the comments below, I am always happy to help. With all that aside, let's jump into the video. Before we jump into the tutorial, one thing to keep in mind is that this will be a full replay mod tutorial, at least for the most part. It will be simpler than some tutorials, but I just want to make this easier to understand. Obviously, you can always rewatch this video to make sure that you understand it really well, but to skip to a certain part of it, or you only need help with one thing, like let's say exporting, there should be timestamps in the description, and if one's missing that you want, just let me know and I'll add it in the comments, or just manually go through the video and find it, because that shouldn't be that hard to do. And so now the first step to this tutorial is actually going to be setting up a keybind for replay mod, because if you don't have this, you won't be able to actually start recording. So what you're going to want to do is press right shift on your keyboard, and then click on this mods thing right here. And then right here, you're going to want to type in REP, and it'll come up with replay. So press the settings key, and where it says start slash stop recording, make sure you have a key here. It could be something like F, it could be P, I usually like to have mine on P, and that's what I would recommend for most of you guys. But find the key that works best for you, and yeah, I would recommend P, but whatever key you want would work. It's kind of like just setting up hotkeys. You just need a key for this to work. I mean, you can start recording in other ways, but it's the easiest to just use a key. And with all of that setup done, let's hop into the rest of the tutorial. Alright guys, so here we are in the game, and what I do for my montages and stuff is I don't actually record the whole game, I just record the clip that I actually want. So for me, that is going to be just whenever I'm about to get a kill, I just miss that clutch. But basically, I'm going to press P right here because I think I'm going to be able to kill him and break his bed and get a cool clip. So I'm going to break his bed right here. And I'm going to place those blocks. Get him around here and then I'm going to kill him. And then I'm going to press P again to stop that because I just want that clip in the game. And I'm going to skip the rest of this game. And then I'll be back once I'm done and why did I buy an iron sword but yeah I'll be back once this game is over and I'm actually ready to start editing the replay okay that's going to conclude that game I literally lost by like 1 HP in a PvP battle I was at like he was at like 2 hearts I lost because he is a 200 star with an almost 9 FKDR he has like 8.7 or something it's ridiculous he was like the biggest sweat ever we had both equal gear he was like block hitting and I got probably more hits on him judging by the fact that I did almost win that fight but that doesn't matter I, don't, I wasn't even recording that but basically now that we have our clip before we go into the replay there is a pretty crucial step. So what you're going to do is make sure that everything is prepared and ready for when you go into your replay. You can do this while you're in the replay, but I personally don't like to. So what you're gonna wanna do is apply your shaders, your resource pack, and change the time. So first I'm gonna apply some shaders. So options, video settings, shaders. And then I am going to be using Silder's Vibrant shaders here, but it honestly just depends on what you want, what your personal taste is. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be using Silder's Vibrant Shaders for this demo. And next, I'm going to choose a resource pack. And the last thing is the time. I'm going to use the Time Changer mod right here in Lion to actually change the time to something that would look good in a replay. So for me, I'm going to change it to something like 11 to 40, which just has the sun kind of shining down right here. Maybe I'll make it a little bit earlier than that, like this, so that people can actually see things well. But I'm just going to leave everything like this at these settings so that it has this texture pack in the replay, these shaders, and this time. And now is the time to leave Hypixel, click cancel, and then go to replay viewer and go to the, your most recent replay. So if you this one, just double click on it. Quickly press T and press this pause icon to freeze time just like this so that you can freely float around. 
and now you're going to want to find the camera position and the frame that you want to first start your replay at so for me it's right here because this is about the angle that i broke the bed at and i want people to be able to see me breaking the bed so i'm going to wait i'm going to press play right here and wait until my character is about to break the bed just like this and now i'm going to press both of these this one is for the camera position and this one is for the time so basically now i'm just going to press escape on that and now i can fly around again so i'm just going to press t and let my character break the bed and now i place these blocks right here and then i go back around this way and this is where i start to pvp so i want the montage to go out to right here at a certain position so i'm gonna wait till i'm like right here right where i get the first hit and then i want it from that point in time to when i get the first hit to slowly go over to here so what i'm going to do is move this bar a little bit this way and i'm going to click on both of these and so basically if i clicked play right now it would just move the camera from there to there and keep time moving at the same time so it basically just be me circling around myself breaking the bed but i want the whole pvp fight so i'm gonna move to the final camera position that i want which is right here and i'm gonna click play and so just like that, that's where I want my replay to end. So I'm going to move this forward again to where I can actually click on these and they're green. And I'm going to click both the camera one and the time one again. And that's honestly about it for the actual replay part. If I click play right here, as you can see, the camera moves around just like this. And it does slow down right there. It's kind of annoying that it does that. You can easily fix that up in editing though. And so just like that, I think we're done here so obviously you can easily fix up that part of the thing in editing you can just edit it if not if you really don't want to edit it or there's something wrong with it like maybe the camera part is just moving too slow but time is moving normally then what you can do is actually just speed up one or the other so i'm gonna do that here i'm going to make it so that the time moves a little bit faster there because of how slowly it moved so just click on this third time icon right here and then drag it i'm gonna drag it like right there so it's basically overlapping the second one so that time moves really fast and i'm gonna play it and as you can see it's much better that's going to be so much better for pvp and obviously if i wanted to i could also make the camera move a little bit faster just by clicking on this and then moving it a little bit that way and now if i play it as you can see the pvp part goes slowly which i like you can obviously move the timer more to the left if you want just make sure it's not before this one before it because then it'll just mess up the whole time thing you have to like rearrange the timer icons but basically that's good i think for now and so just like that i think we have our clip now i do like how it slows down though in that pvp part so as you can see if you just fly around it'll show you this path I think there's a key that you can press to show you, but for me, it just shows me. It should for you guys, too. And if not, I'll leave the key in the description that actually lets you do that. But yeah, as you can see, this is the camera path that I have. And it'll just move across those three paths in the time that it should take. And the time that you gave it to move across those, which is the green diamond things. Don't worry about what I'm saying right now. One thing I want to show you guys is how you can actually tilt the camera which is done by just pressing j and l so let's say i want to continue this a little bit let's say just to right here well i'm going to click play really quickly and then let's say i want it to tilt right here i'm going to press l to make it tilt this way or j to make it tilt that way and as you can see it will tilt the camera and you can even tilt it like all the way around this looks very very trippy and weird but hey you can if you want to i guess it's honestly not that hard to do i actually didn't know this was a thing until someone left it in my comment section thank you so much for doing that because now i know and well i figured that out before they said that you can also press k by the way to just snap it back to the middle to a neutral position instead of having to go like this kind of helpful but yeah let's say i want it to be tilted just a little bit this way right here then i'm just going to do this i'm going to move this a little bit again and i am going to do that so for the encoding preset, you can do MP4, high quality, medium, low quality, or lossless. Lossless will be the best, but high quality should be good enough for almost anyone. 
and video resolution 1920 by 1080 you can do any resolution you want obviously like you can't do like 32k because it would take hours but like you can easily do 4k even if your monitor is like 1080p like mine all you have to do is type in the dimensions so 4k is 3840 by 2160 although i'm going to keep it at 1080p for now because that's i find plenty if you guys want to do 4k then you can easily do that and if it's showing up as different values in 1920 by 1080 make sure to just change it to that unless it's higher than that in which case it's fine but usually you want something like 4k 2k 1080p 720p although don't use 720p when you can easily just do 1080p video bitrate it'll usually say 10,000 by default 40,000 is recommended for 1080p but for replay mod 15,000 I've found works pretty well now you can experiment with this it'll probably look slightly better if you used higher but it doesn't make much of a difference for me and next you have to change your video frame rate so you can make this all the way up to 120 but for me I just usually like it at 60 or if I want to slow clips down 90 if I really want to slow it down maybe 120 but for now I'm just going to leave it at 60 I don't see a reason to go below 60 at all just leave it at 60 either way and finally you can name it something so I'm going to name it replay but you can name it whatever you want and then all you have to do is click on render and as you can see this screen should come up if not there's something wrong with your replay mod that actually happened to me at first where there was something wrong with it so I had to reinstall badline and stuff it was super annoying but it should just come up with a screen like this if you chose a resolution higher than your monitors it might look kind of weird and like zoomed in but that's fine it'll still work just fine in the rendered output and so now as you can see your video is successfully rendered what you're gonna want to do is click on open videos folder just like this so now as you guys can see it'll open up a folder with your replay right here so I'm gonna open this up and now just like that it'll come up with your replay and as you can see it has the shaders that you applied your resource pack and everything and it looks pretty cool if I'm being honest and obviously it'll tilt the camera right here because I told it to it'll kind of roll itself just like that but yeah that's a pretty cool replay I feel like and you can do whatever you want with this you can edit it you can do basically anything this wasn't like a complete tutorial on like all the advanced advanced stuff that you can do with it there is more you can do but this is a pretty solid tutorial for anything basic if you're too lazy like me to actually speed things up in replay mod because it takes too much time you can just do it in editing too like in your editing software that you're using just edit it and speed it up i use davinci resolve if you need something that's free and won't leave any watermark on your stuff because i feel like that's basically the best thing that you can do for a free editor but it honestly just depends but yeah guys i hope you did enjoy this video i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video everything changes